What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're doing a subtle yet very effective mod on my JL Jeep Wrangler. Today, we are installing LED headlights, fog lights, and turn signals from Last Fit Auto Lighting. I have this box right here. I've already done half of the vehicle, so we have some of the stock bulbs and the other bulbs as well. I will have direct links to all three of these bulbs down in the description, so that way you can see exactly what I'm using. And if you use Broster Speed 10, you can save 10% off your next order from Last Fit Auto Lighting. So definitely check out their website that will be down in the description below but as I said I already went ahead and did the driver side so I have a good idea of the process to do this and we can also get a really good idea of the before and after so I'm gonna go ahead and almost fall here we'll go ahead and turn my headlights on get the ignition on along with my fog lights and that way we can really get a good before and after during the daytime now I already went ahead and did the before for night so later in this video you will see this test again at nighttime because obviously the daytime just doesn't do it much justice but let's go ahead and take a look at the LED fog lights headlights and the turn signals which I don't have on just yet but one thing that Brian actually pointed out to me on the JL Jeep Wrangler if you get the LED lighting package I believe it is it makes these DRLs here LED. On my vehicle right now, you can see everything is yellow. We have yellow, yellow, and then the turn signals are even yellow there. But during the day, these are white, which is really cool because then they are very bright for the turn signal, which you can see in this clip right here. So it makes a huge difference. I highly recommend LED headlights or bulbs in the front of your vehicle. It makes a big difference, especially at nighttime. So first up, we are now on the inside of the inner fender liner of the Wrangler. I'm gonna take my T25. There are six bolts that we need to go ahead and loosen up from the inside. From there, there's one more bolt that you have to remove on the inside. It requires a seven millimeter socket. That seems to be a very uncommon size. I certainly do not have one. So I'm just using open-ended or an open-ended wrench here and just spinning it this way. It's not in there very tight. So you can just use that to get that out. If you have a seven millimeter, use it, but this will do just fine. Next up, you'll have to remove part of the skid plate up underneath. You could remove the entire skid plate if you want to do all of that, but I found a way to kind of work around that. So I'm just going to pull both of these stops, or two of them, out, and I'm just using a pair of flat heads to kind of wiggle them out. And again, I'm only doing the first two or the outer two closest to the light itself. And so you can just wiggle those out. And I also need to go ahead and remove this one bolt on the outside of the skid plate. This requires an eight millimeter socket. This will give us a little bit more wiggle room. With all those bolts out, you can slowly just start to wiggle this all the way out. Now, if you took the skid plate completely off, it would make this much easier. So I am doing it a little bit more on the harder side, but I just don't want to take the whole skid plate off. So just have to wiggle this a little bit. And actually, you know what? I'm going to leave this side kind of just like that. So I'm not even going to take it all the way out. We can go ahead and disconnect the fog light bulb. And then there are clips on this that you have to pinch in order to pull the stock one out. And it looks just like this. So here's a new fog light bulb from Last Fit. This also has a relay on it because these are switchback, which I did not show earlier in this video. So we have a white LED and a yellow. So I'll show that later in this video. And then you can see these are direct fitment. So we're gonna use these same plugs here. We can go ahead and just reinstall that. And it goes in just like that. With the bulb secured now, we can go ahead and take this end and attach it to the bulb itself. And once you line up these prongs here, Obviously there's only one way to do this. And then there's a twist on the end of it just to give it a little bit more of a secure connection. And last up, we can just plug this back into the factory plug there. It is a direct plug and play. There's only one way to put it. And I found on the other side, I'm just gonna take this and kind of sandwich it up underneath the light. Once we put this piece back on, it's going to hold it in place. It's not gonna go anywhere. Before I go ahead and button that up, I wanna make sure that this one is incorrectly. So Brian's gonna help me out. And we're also gonna show the switchback feature which will be pretty cool. So go ahead and you might have to have the ignition on for the fog lights. <laughs> yeah, the Jeep's a little quirky, but the headlights work if you don't turn on the ignition. Push the button for the fog lights, yep. So those are white LEDs right now. If you shut them off using the factory switch and turn them back on, now they are yellow. So basically the differences between using these, you can use the white when you're going down a road, like a dark road at nighttime or just during the day or normal actual fog, normal driving. Yellow is gonna be more for snow and other, dust, dust, actually, yeah, dust, yeah. other situations like that. So it's awesome how it's integrated into the stock switch. This is gonna look sweet at night just to see. Yeah. Like even the super lights up. 
<laughs> yeah, so we're gonna see all of those nighttime shots later in this video. We're gonna work our way up now and do the turn signal. With the fog light all put back together, there are two bolts right here that require an eight millimeter socket. We're gonna remove both of those. And then there's a tab right here. I'm just gonna use a flathead screwdriver and slowly pry it apart to get the edge of this fender liner out. And I'm just being careful not to break anything. It's a little bit soft here, but you can just slowly kind of work that out. And just like that, now we can bend this back just a little bit. And now we have access to the bulb. So just by twisting right here, you can see that is the stock turn signal bulb. And here is the new turn signal bulb. Now there is a 50-50 shot in installing this. So if it doesn't work one way, obviously just take it out, put it back in, and then it will work in the other way. So I am 0 for 2 on installing these today, Bry. All right, let's try this way. There we go. There we go. That's working. So I would say that the turn signal here is probably the easiest of these three bulbs to do so far because I am already done. And now we just have to put this all back together. Last up we have saved, well we've saved the hardest thing for last, and that is the passenger side headlight. The driver side was easy. If you come over and look on this side, it's this dust cover right here, right? Yep. Brian actually did this one, and you can remove that. On the passenger side, however, we have the intake, and we have maybe like a quarter inch of space. So I need to figure out how to remove this with the Sweet. least amount of bolts as possible. We're gonna start with that one right there. And it's pretty loose feeling, so maybe just this one bolt, and then just this little flex joint. I love the Jeeps have a built-in workstation right here. <laughs> I'm sure they designed it just for that. <laughs> So, so far... It's probably a rubber pull thing or something. Yeah. I have to yank it. Yeah, I don't... Yank it without breaking it. Yeah, I know. I think that is a rubber... I think it. I think you're right. All right, so if we move that... Yeah, not bad. doesn't look too bad. Can you see if there's any... Uh, I don't see any heads of bolts in there. No, it's definitely going to be one of those rubber things. There we yeah. go. Yeah, it's the same so rubber So there's thing. two of them. Yeah, those little guys. All right, well now I have really good access. So yeah, it turns out that's all you have to do. <laughs> and then this should be the easy part, right? Yep. There's two knobs in there, just grab them and twist it. So like that. And now we just unplug the whole bulb assembly. There we go. So take that out. Yep. Are we just, reusing that? Yeah, and then just pinch it and pull it out. Oh, I see. There we go. All right, so there's the factory headlight bulb and the new one. And the rubber red seal yeah. is probably stuck inside. It was on mine. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it just in there. there Does this go. matter which way? Oh, that's the stock one? Yeah, exactly the same piece. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that just twists in just like the other one came out. Yep, so just like that. Yep. And then we have our factory connection. All right, so that is our connection. Let's make sure it works. Before we button that up. Oh yeah. We good? Bright white. And these are high beams too, right? Yes, they are high beams which you may, well let's go ahead and try. You may not see it during the day. You ready? Yep. Yeah, during the day you can kind of tell a little bit. We'll see it at night though. Yeah. Very cool. Alright, so now it's time to button this side up. And luckily these wires just fit right inside the dust housing. I know this has been a really good plug-and-play kit so far just like that All right, that's locked into place That's gonna wrap up the installation of the last fit LED headlights fog lights and turn signals on the JL Wrangler Overall, it really wasn't that hard of an installation it might take you a couple hours Just getting everything kind of squared away and taking some parts off but we're gonna go ahead and show you guys some nighttime shots because these lights are gonna be extremely bright and way better than the stock bulbs. From previous experience using last fit bulbs on the Tacoma and especially the GTR, these lights are so much brighter. You can clearly see a lot more than the haze that the stock bulbs had. And just having LEDs is a great inexpensive way to give you better lighting and give your truck a better look. I love how this looks now with all LEDs up front and even having my LED ditch lights. It just gives it a really cool look from up front and it keeps you safe at night night. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a huge thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And remember, you can use Bros for Speed 10. Save 10% off your next last fit order. I'll see you guys in the next video.